Hi everyone, my name is Matt Haynes. I'm an audiobook narrator and I'm dedicated to an ongoing study of different accents and different voice types uh, that are out there in the world. Uh, some of the more fun experiences with this involve impersonating celebrities, because who knows, uh, maybe a celebrity's voice can work its way into a character that I'm doing. Hopefully not distractingly, but uh, different voices, different qualities of voices. This video is going to be on the Bob Ross voice. I'm going to be taking the things that I hear in the Bob Ross voice and uh, breaking them down into components that I think are uh, memorable and practicable. And uh, then I'm going to apply those components to song lyrics. So now typically with the um, uh, voice videos where I do celebrity impersonations, I like to think of what's the essential uh, metaphor of uh, the person's voice or a simile, you know, whatever. Um, what is the quality of the Michael Caine voice? The Michael Caine voice is sort of like branches that are tapping as they creak, 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 tapping against the window. And then they sometimes creak even louder when the wind blows them. So that's one example. Now, uh, Jack Nicholson is a body of water that goes up and then down and then sometimes frothes and then goes down. Froths. <laughs> now with Bob Ross, uh, what I uh, am hearing, and I think this is a no-brainer, is essentially a meditation instructor. Uh, his videos, there isn't a whole lot of variation or build uh, between them. Uh, they are essentially different meditation sessions, and it seems like his mission is to just have people get a sense of calm and serenity and empowerment through painting. And so there's something very ritualistic, very steady, very calming, never going up too far or down too far. Um, he will have a sustained tone, sometimes rising and falling, and sometimes the thought will end in a whisper. And sometimes entire sentences will become whispers, just to reassure you, just like you're being lulled to sleep, except you're in a living dream, just making your own world. We can do anything we want in our own world. So, <laughs> whew, I almost put myself to sleep there. But yeah, meditation instructor. Ta-da! And of course we have our friend the Mattoon. And uh, the Mattoon is a picture of me with my glasses on. And uh, it's to illustrate where I'm feeling the Bob Ross voice living in my mouth as I'm practicing it. Now, um, with Bob Ross, what I'm getting is it's just pure happy little clouds in behind the mouth, but it's very, very forward, very, very forward. He was in, he grew up in Florida, so he's a Southern man. Very forward and uh, very front, lots and lots of articulation with a happy little tongue at the lips and lots of enunciation of the T's and D's at the ends of the words right there. So we're just a cloud that comes forward and is very, very specific, almost the journey of the mind from imagination to brush point, you know, that, that sort of generalness to pre precision. Um, so that forward uh, motion results in a few things. First of all, the O sound uh, becomes almost an O. So home, whom, whom, just a happy little home, home. Forward position with the mouth also results in a slight D T H phenomenon. So another becomes another, another. It's just another D, and also. Uh, there is the diction at the ends of the words. So I feel it all around becomes, I feel it all around. So let's keep going with uh, some of these vowel changes that happen. Um, so uh, the I becomes a classic ah. Um, so I feel, I feel. The A becomes almost an E, A, E, A, A. So when I'm away, when I'm a we. The e to i switch, so e sounding like i, i sounding like e. So, I cannot risk the bet actually inverts to, I cannot risk the bit. And those wonderful lapping l's, l's, I feel it, I feel it. All right, it is song time, everybody. We're going to take these principles and apply them to song lyrics, which is a technique that I highly recommend for practicing accents. We're going to apply this to the lyrics of Oingo Boingo's Just Another Day. I feel it all around. I feel it in my bones. My life's on the line when I'm away from home. 
When I step out the door, the jungle is alive. I do not trust my ears. I don't believe my eyes. I will not fall in love. I cannot risk the bet, because hearts are fragile toys. So easy to forget, so easy to forget. It's just another day. There's murder in the air. Drags me when I walk. I smell it everywhere. It's just another day where people cling to light to drive away the fear that comes with every night. I had a dream last night. The world was set on fire. Everywhere I ran, there wasn't any water. The temperature increased. The sky was blazing red. The clouds had turned to smoke and everyone was dead, but there's a smile on my face. For everyone, there's a golden coin that reflects the sun. There's a lonely place that's always cold. There's a place in the stars for when you get old. It's just another day. That was from Just Another Day by Oingo Boingo, music by Kevin McLeod, who uh, gives the stuff out royalty-free, public domain. Thank you so much, Kevin. Was this the uh, impersonation to end all Bob Ross impersonations? I doubt it. But uh, let's take this and build on it. If you've got specific insights on the Bob Ross voice or any questions, uh, put those in the comments. I'll see you next time.